Okay, I want to talk to my, about my boyfriend Dave. In the last video I did, I had to thrash it because halfway through the sound went out and it's like my microphone at, at this point doesn't seem to be working, so I just have to talk louder than normal. So anyway, um, uh, I just recently uh, ran across, you know, a box and I've been going through it and there's actually uh, some uh, uh, pictures and so on from Dave. I don't have a lot of pictures of Dave, you know, I was hoping I had some somewhere and I actually fortunately ran across three of them. Uh, a couple of them ran across a couple of weeks ago and then the, uh, I found one more like uh, just a, uh, a few days ago. So anyway, um, it's like pictures of him. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, he... Um, sent me this it's like this was it, it says October of 1989 on it um, you know this is before I met him um, I met him in the uh, I met Dave uh, at the first weekend of November of 1991 and uh, and then we became like a couple like um, uh, probably around February or so of the following year Anyway, um, yeah, this, uh, that's what this one says. So this is, uh, this is before I knew him, and it uh, looks like he's got some neat old technology. I'm glad I got this. It's like, um, and uh, he also, um, uh, this is another photo that we took together, um, and it's like, this may be only a couple of pictures I have of the two of us together. That's uh, him and I in the back. That's my friend Myrna in the front, um, and this was party. It's like it's stamped on here. Uh, January 29th, 1993, um, and uh, this was probably at a party or something in, you know, somebody's house. I don't remember what it was. Um, probably, maybe, it, it was maybe Christmas time or in January. Um, and, uh, anyway, so, so, and then, uh, he, uh, he was really good about sending me, he sent me a lot of cards, even after we broke up and everything, we didn't, you know, uh, we would still communicate. I, you know, once a great while, I talk. We talk on the phone, but usually it was like, um, you know, he'd send me cards and he'd send me letters. Sometimes he was kind of romantic. It was romantic, and he was also a really, really good writer. You know, so um, he liked writing. So, and I think that's a part of it too. And here's one of the. I've, I ran across a whole bunch of cards, and this is one of them. And uh, he was big. He was big into astronomy, so I think that's why he, you know, sent that one. I uh, found that one. It says, "I thank my lucky stars for you, and uh, you're the most wonderful part of my life. I love you, D." He, it's like he always, uh, he always uh, sent cards um, and letters, and it was always like even the emails. It was like D. Period. That's how he signed his <laughs> signed his letters. Um, you know, here's another one. Um, it's like you seem pretty young for your age, uh, and then it's, <laughs> it's, and it says, um, you know, of course that's that's like telling a dog he has a pretty good breath for a canine. Happy birthday! And then he said, wrote to my slowly aging sweetheart, uh, D. So I, I don't know what birthday this was for, but you know, it's like my birthday's in March. So it's like, um, and then. Uh, he also, you know, it's like, like I said, I was lucky I found those. Um, he actually sent a letter to me at where I work, where I was working at the time. It says Bay Area Medical Group on it, but actually, um, that's the address and everything. But actually, I work for Santa Monica Bay Physicians was actually the name of the company and everything. And he sent me a letter. I won't show the letter right now, but this is him in the... Um, this is him uh, that's obviously a Vietnam picture when he was in Vietnam as a helicopter pilot and he continued uh, flying helicopters after um, after he got out of Vietnam left Vietnam he uh, joined the National Guard and became a helicopter pilot there and uh, it continued that for I don't know how long a long time like at least 20 years after Vietnam um, probably a lot longer than that it's like until he probably couldn't just fly anymore wasn't allowed to fly anymore because he had to stay in great condition and everything um, uh, what couple of stories um, uh, we went to um, uh, I met him one time at uh, Shafter in Sh the city of Shafter it's a small town it's in the middle of California Central California um, and they had an air show they have an airstrip there and uh, he was there with a helicopter. It was, on, it was on the ground. I didn't see him fly in or anything, but he was there with some of his buddies uh, from the National Guard. And we, um, uh, it's like, so I met him there. I remember distinctly, I was driving my, uh, at the time I had my 1991 Lexus ES250, which I still miss. I love that car. And, 
and uh, you know we hung out in the in the helicopter wa walked around watched the air show and everything and then at the end I, I left I started walking back to my car I started to walk back and I had to actually back up I actually saw him it's the only time I have ever seen him actually uh, fly a helicopter I was never in the helicopter with him flying but it's like I actually got to see him that's the only time I ever got to see him fly a helicopter is I saw him take off and then I was taking off and stuff I walked back to my car to the parking lot and I left so that was a um, yeah it was a good um, uh, memory we also went to his um, uh, uh, he had a um, uh, there was a Vietnam helicopter pilots um, association and reunion and um, he had never gone to it before um, and I kind of encouraged him to go I think what it was is like he dreaded running into some people that he didn't like there were a few people I think that he really did not like at all for whatever reason he never told me why um, and he, anyway he uh, he kind of thought that he, they might show up but we we did go he had a great time uh, those people whoever they were they weren't there um, he met up with his some of his crew members you know he was happy to see them and then he ha uh, uh, met up with a guy who he actually trained um, to help train uh, fly a helicopter you know and he was in Vietnam and actually that guy continued to uh, as a as work he continued as a pilot himself I don't know in what capacity but he was he continued flying himself so it's like he was really glad that we went um, the um, another story is like um, there you know it's like in my uh, belly dance career you know when I was producing shows and so on at the beginning he would actually come over to the shows and take uh, take pictures um, and take pictures of the shows and stuff you know so he did he did like maybe maybe about four shows or something he came and took pictures I don't remember how many it's like and so um, actually on some of the covers of it covers and so on of my um, DVDs uh, you know at the time it was VHS tapes but it was uh, at that time it's like but um, we there there's like a lot a lot of the pictures are you know the earlier tapes and so on the, the pictures are uh, were pictures taken by him and he also um, what was it um, yeah, also, if you take a look at my website, it's bellydance.org. Um, it's like, and you, you, there's uh, photos and stuff of the older shows, and you can see some of the photos that he took there. Um, one of the times, it's like I was just thinking about this. It's like one of the times that he um, uh, uh, was, uh, uh, you know, taking pictures and stuff. I had one time, you know, it's like in the mid '90s. This is after we had broken up. Um, we broke up like you know like in 1994 but we did you know like I said uh, we got uh, we kept in touch he um, they, you know when he came to the show and so on it was at Cal I remember it was at Cal State one of the shows at Cal State Northridge I did a number of them there at the Performing Arts Center anyway he um, uh, th there was a there was a movie called The Usual Suspects and there was a character in there that called Kaiser Sose and um, he actually uh, would sign in as he. I remember him signing in as Kaiser Sose. It became a joke. It's like I think I think what it was is I sent him the videotape. Uh, it was on VHS at the time, and I, I mailed it to him, and he watched it. Really liked it, and uh, so he was like uh, Kaiser Sose. <laughs> um, and uh, let's see. Um, at, at the Vietnam. Oh, another thing about the Vietnam uh, Helicopter Pilots Association. Uh, when we went to the thing, I found out that some of his guys, you know, they tend to give each other nicknames and stuff. And because his last name was Rosenthal, um, his uh, his uh, nickname uh, was Rosie. And um, so he uh, <laughs> they called him Rosie, and I had no idea that they did that. He never mentioned that <laughs> to, to me, but. Um, uh, and then another story about him was uh, on he was on 60 Minutes on a you know was, this was I, I had to look it up I looked it up yesterday, and uh, he had told me he was on a um, segment of of 60 Minutes they interviewed him and stuff and it was had to do with night vision goggles, and apparently there's problems with them or something so the the piece was about that I have not been able to find video of it of that segment or anything but apparently it was in 1990 I did find out some information. That it was uh, it was a segment in 1990, um, so um, I thought that was an, I remember him telling me about that. So anyway, um, that's it. You know, for now I will show, share some more. Uh, you know, uh, 
photos and so on as I find them of him and uh, very memorable and um, and I miss I still miss him he was he was uh, probably if I had to pick one man it, he was he was the love of my life I really I really I really miss him I still miss him today he passed away in 2007 from cancer a long battle with cancer and we kind of tech like I said we kind of kept touch you know on and off a little bit here and there and unfortunately um, I did not get to t talk to him or see him before he passed away um, anyway um, but I have a lot of good memories of him and uh, I'll remember that <laughs>